Hi, uh, in this session we are going to add one more column to our categories table uh, that is our description. So it is going to be a text area and we are going to add and delete uh, and update uh, the column uh, in a previous categories uh, entity. So to create a new column into our categories table we have to run a new migration. So to run a new migration the command is php artisan make migration and then the name of the migration I'm just going to say add um, description to categories and then we have to specify the name of the table uh, that should create our migration so the next step is to go over here and um, uh, we'll do something similar to uh, this. Uh, so this will just add one column in the database. So to do that, it's table. And by the way, it's ref referring to the categories table over here. And we have to say uh, add column. Uh, let me just check it. No, it's just um, the name text. And we can uh, give the name of the column and then we have to uh, we can either give uh, after which field we want this uh, description field so I'm just going to say after name and it's going to be a text column and I'm going to say drop uh, column over here and the name of the column name of the column sorry so uh, that should uh, do it uh, now we have to run a migration HP artisan migrate uh, that 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 has added a column into the database so we can now add the column to our create and edit uh, blade templates so to do that um, command is uh, form text area and then we have to pass the name of the column uh, now uh, I have to grab this um, into our category uh, store method so um, we need to set it to just going to copy so description is going to be description and similarly I'm going to do it uh, for the update method as well and this is going to be description description and let's change let's add this um, into our edit template as well so text area and if you want to pass any value to this so you can pass as a second parameter over here so it's going to be category description I think that should do it uh, let's go and check test no uh, I've been testing with test no there you go uh, we have retained the value of a text area um, in the next video we are going to see a few more input uh, fields uh, like the select area and the checkboxes and the image field um, I think that's it in this video if you're if you're finding this video helpful then please like or subscribe to my channel and and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching